Danger Dolan. From drowning at a pool party full of lifeguards to fatally tripping on your own beard, we count 15 strange ways people have died. Number 15. The London Beer Flood. Beer lovers might look at this and go, Hell yeah, that's how I wanna go. On paper, it's a bit like Futurama's Death by Snoo Snoo, but the reality was actually pretty horrifying. The London Beer Flood occurred in 1814 when a giant vat at a brewery burst. It had a domino effect rupturing all the surrounding vats and causing over 323,000 imperial gallons of beer to gush into the streets. The beer tsunami filled basements, destroyed homes, and crumbled a local pub trapping an employee inside. Eight people died in the disaster, which incredibly was ruled an act of God. Number 14. Death by bookcase. When Mariessa Weber was reported missing by her family, no one thought she'd turn up 11 days later behind a bookcase. Fearing she'd been kidnapped, Weber's sister went to investigate a strange smell coming from Mariessa's bedroom. She checked behind the bookcase and discovered a woman's foot. Her flashlight revealed Weber was wedged upside down behind the unit. This wasn't some marathon game of hide and seek that went wrong. Family members suspect she slipped and fell trying to adjust a television plug behind the bookshelf. She would have been unable to breathe in the position she was in. Number 13. Drowning at a lifeguard's pool party. In 1985, New Orleans lifeguards threw a rockin' pool party to celebrate their first drowning-free season. The party was a resounding success until a 31-year-old non-lifeguard guest was found dead at the bottom of the recreation department's pool. There were four lifeguards on duty at the party, and more than half of the 200 attendees were lifeguards themselves, but somehow, no one was able to save Jeremy Moody. Number 12. Death by sheep. In 1999, a 67-year-old woman in Durham, England, carried a bale of hay to the back of her motorcycle to feed a flock of sheep. Unfortunately, the hungry sheep flunked Ovine University, so never learned patience. They charged the bike, and Betty Stobbs was knocked into a deep ravine. Incredibly, Stobbs survived the fall, but quickly died a final destination-style death when her bike landed on top of her. Number 11. Death by garbage. Two compulsive hoarders, Homer and Langley Cully, were found dead in their New York City home when the mountain of possessions they'd accumulated collapsed, trapping them. The brothers had spent decades obsessively collecting newspapers and other junk items, and even set up elaborate booby traps. I guess they feared intruders might break in and steal their world-renowned bottle cap collection. The cave-in trapped Homer, leaving Langley to call through tunnels of newspapers to bring his paralyzed brother food. During one of these runs, Langley set off one of his own traps, and Homer was left to die of starvation. When police entered, they found Homer's deceased body. It took another two weeks to remove nearly 100 tons of garbage from the house. Only then did workers find Langley's decomposed, rat-chewed body just 10 feet from where they'd found his brother. Number 10. Death by ridiculous infections. If someone asked you to guess how you'll die one day, chances are you wouldn't say infection caused by some really trivial minor fuck up. But that's exactly what happened to 9th century Norse warrior Sigurd the Mighty, who after emerging victorious in combat, strapped his enemy's severed head to his saddle and rode home. He ended up grazing his leg on the exposed teeth and died from the ensuing infection. Alan Pinkerton, father of the Pinkerton Detective Agency, faced a similarly ridiculous fate. He slipped on the sidewalk, bit his own tongue, and died from the infection. Finally, famous whiskey distiller Jack Daniel came into work one morning to open his safe. He couldn't remember the damn combination, so he kicked the safe in anger. His toe sustained an injury, which later developed into an infection and killed him. Number 9. Death by Dancing In 1518, a woman stepped into the streets of Strasbourg City and started to dance. Several days later, she was still at it, and hundreds had joined in. This was the first of what became Europe's compulsive dancing outbreaks. Authorities believed the affliction would pass if the affected danced it out, Napoleon Dynamite style. So halls were made available and musicians were hired. Days passed, but none quit. Eventually, people dropped dead of sheer exhaustion. It took months for the epidemic to recede, and the afflicted had to be loaded into wagons and taken to a healing shrine. It's believed this mass hysteria was caused by extreme famine, disease, and spiritual despair. Number 8. Death by Misunderstanding Rumour has it that, while suffering from a bad cough, Napoleon accidentally ordered the execution of over a thousand prisoners. To his officers, he said, Massacre tu, which meant, my damn cough. However, his officers thought he said, Massacre tu, which means, massacre all. 
Accounts of the incident vary, but it's pretty horrifying if it's true. Number seven. Death by reenactment. In 1991, a 57-year-old Thai woman named Yuket Payen was taking a stroll on her Bangkok farm when she slipped on some mud and grabbed a naked live wire. She died by electrocution. But wait, in case you think this is some morbid version of Funniest Home Videos, there's more to the story. Later that same day, Payen's sister was showing neighbors how the tragedy occurred when she also slipped, grabbed the very same wire, and tragically died. Number six. Death by carrot juice. Basil Brown was a UK health fanatic who managed to drink himself to death with carrot juice. He reportedly drank more than a gallon of the sweet stuff a day, believing it would give him x-ray vision or just generally make him healthier. He ended up guzzling over 10 gallons in 10 days, which gave him 10,000 times more than the recommended amount of vitamin A, and ultimately led to fatal liver damage. Number five. Death by beard. In 1567, an Austrian man named Hans Steininger broke his neck after tripping over his own beard while trying to escape a fire. Steininger was famous for having the world's longest beard. He'd grown it an impressive four and a half feet, but that day had forgotten to roll it up. One would imagine a monstrous beard like that would make getting around tricky. It's probably why famous beardies like Gandalf, Merlin, and Dumbledore used magic. Number four. Death by legal defense. 38-year-old Canadian lawyer Gary Hoy died while trying to prove that the glass in the windows of a 24th story office was unbreakable. The lawyer, who was one of the firm's best and brightest, had apparently developed the strange habit of hurling himself against the window to demonstrate its strength. Ordinarily, he would bounce right off the window pane, leaving a room full of onlookers clapping. But on the fateful day in 1993, his little trick failed and the window popped right out of its frame, sending him plummeting to his death. Amusingly, the technical term for this kind of death is accidental auto defenestration. Number three. Death by sauna. Russian Vladimir Ladazensky died during the 2010 World Sauna Championships in Finland, having spent six minutes in a sauna. He'd endured temperatures of 110 degrees Celsius and was trying to outlast the Finnish reigning champ. When the doors opened, both men collapsed and were bleeding from severe burns. First aid was administered, but the Russian competitor later died. Apparently, all the ordinary competition rules were followed, so the death was considered quite a shock. Number two. Death by method acting. British actor Gareth Jones met an unfortunate end when he suffered a heart attack while performing in a live televised play in 1958. The weird thing is that his character was actually scripted to have a heart attack. The other cast members improvised around his death and redistributed his lines on the fly. Miraculously, they finished the play with the audience none the wiser, but Jones could not be revived. Another death was narrowly avoided during a live play when an actor accidentally activated a working defibrillator that was being used as a prop. The receiving actor received severe burns to the chest, but pulled through. Suddenly, all those plays that don't have near-death experiences seem kind of boring. Number one. Mass death by miraculous lightning strike. An entire soccer team died mid-game in the Democratic Republic of the Congo when lightning struck the wet field. What's freaky is that the entire home team survived. The lightning killed 11 young players aged between 20 and 35. 30 others received burns, but the athletes from the other team came out curiously unscathed. Accusations of witchcraft arose. Apparently, it's common practice for teams and fans to call upon the services of witch doctors to curse their opponents. Guess they really take their sports seriously. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!